Hi, I'm going to talk you through how you can deploy a Kubernetes application from a manifest that actually resides in a Git repository. So in this case, I have uh, my uh, Git repository on GitHub, and I've defined my manifest inside of a, a deployment YAML. And this can, of course, come from a manual commit. It can come from a CI CD pipeline. It can be part of you know a review process where you uh, merge things through a pull request. And once this definition has been committed, it still needs to be deployed. And this is basically where we can utilize Portana to add it as an application. So when we go to Portana, and instead of going through the form of add application, we go to the advanced deployment. And uh, in previous versions, you um, may know that we um, allow you to paste in the manifest directly in the web editor. But in this case, we now allow you to um, also point to the manifest inside of a Git repo. So in this case, I want to deploy it in a Ingress namespace. And I still need to provide the details of my, um, my Git repository so that Portainer basically can download the manifest. I'm also going to specify the branch, even though it's um, not mandatory, but it's a good habit. So my manifest uh, file lives inside of a, a directory. And for my username and password, I'm using a personal access token. So when I deploy this, it basically pulls the manifest from the Git repo and then uh, deploys it as per normal. So the name of the application, of course, is defined inside of the manifest. And once it has been deployed, so here we can see that the Nginx Git deployment is there. And when we drill down into it, um, it's now up and running as well. And um, we will continue to enhance these um, type of features further, where we, for instance, allow um, uh, the manifest to be pulled when it has been updated and even uh, later on allowing it to be synced as well. So this is basically how we um, cater for a better version of CI CD integration when using Kubernetes and Portainer. Mm -hmm.